Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here bringing you another video. So you guys know the vibes every Sunday. We do not sleep for one piece. Yes, sir. We're here for episode 1110. Super excited to jump in. Last week's episode was absolutely incredible. The animation was fantastic. We had also a very ludicrous team up happen between Luffy, Zoro and Kaku and Luchi, which I never thought I'd live long enough to see that happen. Uh, <laughs> so they teamed up. Uh, Luffy and Zoro let uh, both Kaku and Luchi go so they could team up against S-Hawk and S-Bear. They did a really incredible team up attack between both groups and knocked S-Bear and S-Hawk through a bunch of walls in the laboratory. Although I feel like that's not going to be enough to keep the Seraphim down for the count, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see how that fight continues on. Moving on to Elbath, where Kid is. Surprisingly, we found out that Shanks is there as well, and Kid is itching for round two. We also got to find out that the first time the Kid Pirates went up against the Red-Haired Pirates, Ben Beckman is actually the one who cut off Kid's arm. The first time they went up against the red-haired pirates, they weren't even able to see Shanks. They didn't even get close to Shanks, bro, which is absolutely insane. And now Kid is here for round two. And I feel like this is not going to go well for Kid because also Shanks has Broggy and Dory helping him out. And thank you guys so much for pointing out because I totally missed it the first time. Uh, Kashi and Oimon were at the back um, of Dory and Broggy. So they finally got to reunite with their captains, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but yeah, man, that's what's happening currently. So I don't know if we're going to pick up from there in this episode with the Shanks versus Kid fight. I really hope so because I'm really curious to see exactly how the fight between them is going to go. If Kid actually wins, I legit might get a tattoo of Kid at that point, bro, because, I mean, this is Shanks we're talking about, but, you know, somehow I doubt it, given the information we got in the last episode, like, Ben Beckman and the rest of the red-haired pirates are the one who took care of them the first time, you know? They didn't even see Shanks! What chance does he have now that Shanks is gonna be involved in the fight, you know? But anyway, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but I'm super excited to jump into this episode and see what's up. So I've spoken enough, without any further ado, let's jump right <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Damn, Esper is going in with the uh, beams. Ooh, look at Lucy go, dodging everything. Both of them. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> nice. They're both going in, bro. God damn. Ooh. Kaku with the break dancing. Tempest kick. Damn. Shish, <laughs> song, song. Got him. It's been a while since we've seen that. Nice. Oh, let's go. That took a lot out of them, clearly. Why do I feel like that's not enough, though? They're about to stand up, aren't they? Uh, Shaka basically saying to Kaku, don't underestimate them, chief. Oh boy. There, there it is. I figured. <laughs> oh, they got that kind of endurance. Crazy. Yep, just like King Lunarian. It's a beautiful man right here. Kaido no Kaizoku Dani Lunaria Zokuga. 
よっ何族だか名前は知らねえがなるほど He's the same one, yep. Yep. The Seraphims must get their durability from the Lunarian DNA. King was so badass, bro. It's really sad. Him and Queen went down to, um, Green Bull. Yeah, that's the weakness. When the flame goes out, you can attack. Zoro using his experience to teach everybody. Honestly, I might get a, a lot of hate for this, and I'm not trying to start a war in the comments, but for me personally, especially being a Zoro fan, um, in Wano, when it comes to the fights, Zoro's fight with King is number one for me. It goes Zoro versus King, Kaido versus Luffy, um, Big Mom versus Kid and Law, and then Sanji's uh, battle is fourth for me. Uh, I just loved the animation of that fight. The feeling I had watching it, it's just, it was unmatched. And I'm not trying to say that the other fights were bad in any way. It's just for me, this one right here was my favorite. The animation, they killed it. The music, and then the to be continued with the Z at the end, bro. Are you kidding me? Nah. But then again, like I said, I'm not trying to start a war in the comments. Just my humble opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Should I notice sooner? Now is when you're noticing. Here come the minority hunter comments. I see him already. <laughs> oh. Nice save. Here we go. Oh, Shaka's gonna look for Vegapunk. Okay. Back with Edison and the group. They're taking on a shark. Wow. With his arms crossed is crazy. Channeling that senior pink energy. Damn! One punch, bro? Saitama would be proud. Damn, the flip, bro, until his head came off. Edison is down. Brooke is down. It's all you, Nami. Jinbei. That's not Jimbei. Oh, Nami. But it's not Jimbei. Zeus? That's what I'm saying. But you gotta fight. Let's go, Nami. Yep. Cuteness is the problem here? <laughs> 
Got him. F them kids, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Wow, he cooked him from the inside. It's not Jimbei Nami. Don't worry. Wow, until he fell into the ground. Uh oh. Damn. That did nothing. Their endurance is crazy. This Lunarian DNA. No, Sanji's saving her, right? He was on his way here. I figured. In the last episode. Article 1? Uh, what? <laughs> Damn. Sanji Kingdom? Article 9? Raw heat strike. Damn, let's go. <laughs> Yo, caused a whole explosion, bro. Perfect timing, Sanji. I'm gonna need to know what the rest of those articles for his kingdom are. <laughs> well, he's he's back up. Endurance is crazy. And he's even more mad. Damn. Yo. Sanji is on demon time, bro. <laughs> you love to see it. I can't wait to see how that's gonna go. In fact, that kick was revenge for Sanji. Because I remember S-Shark hit him too. S-Snake, okay. I'm back with Usopp's group. God damn. The cake on Lilith. Well, that did nothing. He literally just reflected it. What happened? What happened? Oh, sea energy. Oh, the same weaknesses. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So same weakness as a Devil Fruit user who would be affected by C or C Prism Stone as well. Okay, that's 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 clutch. Love to see it, Lilith. Uh-oh. Damn! Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> wow. She's literally a mini Hancock, bro. She's even doing the whole pose and everything. <laughs> Wow. Uh-oh. So far, I'm surprised she's the only one who's spoken out of all the Seraphim. I wonder if the others can speak. Damn! Got him. Got her. Nice, Frankie. Nice. <laughs> now we just need to put her in that bubble. And we're good. That bubble gun is useful. Very useful. Oh, no. 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 No, don't fall for this, Frankie. Don't do it. Don't do it. Damn it! He got petrified. Half of his body. God damn it. Ah, uh, he fell for the cuteness. Well, it's like that's not gonna work. Oh crap. They've fallen for it too. Here it comes. Damn, bro! How are we supposed to win, man? Frankie's halfway petrified. Usopp and Lilith are done. Where, where's Pythagoras, though? Can he help? 
We're not looking good here, bro. Wow, Shaka, you figured it out. He found them. Who put them in here and who put Stella in here too? That's what I want to know. At least he found them. That's the question. Who did that? Uh-oh. Somebody's coming. Oh my god. In the head, bro? Headshot? Oh my god. There's no way Shaka's getting up from that. In the head! Oh my god. Who shot him? Who is it? Bro. They have to show who it is at this point, bro. The episode better not end without them showing who did this. Who is it? Really? Really one pe- Alright, bro. Who do we have today? King? Alright. Tyranidon? Yep, yep. Oh, December 1st. Flying fish sashimi? Really? Sad. I still stand by what I said earlier, bro. This is my number one fight in the entirety of Wano, in my humble opinion. Incredible. Look at that animation, bro. Insane. Awesome. Man, I don't know if Shaka's waking up from that one, bro. He got shot in the head. I mean, Atlas survived a sixth king gun to the face, but this is a bullet we're talking about, bro. It went straight through his dome. And I'm starting to get impatient because I really want to know who's doing this. His theory earlier was that one of the satellites is responsible, right? I mean, so far, okay, Shaka's down, right? York is also down. She was petrified by S Snake. Lilith has been also petrified together with Usab and Frankie, right? Pythagoras, I'm not sure where he is, but he was with uh, Lilith and the crew. He's just ahead at the moment, so I don't know if it's him. Edison is also down. He was one bomb by a shark right so the only person i can think of right now is atlas we haven't seen her in a while you know i i bro i need to know who it is that person has to be the one who commanded the seraphim to kill everybody and i'm sure it's the same person who put all those cypher pole agents in the cell together with stella vegapunk right i'm really curious who it is bro because the hell is going on you know as for uh sanji coming to uh nami's rescue there that was pretty interesting the sanji kingdom and the articles like bro <laughs> how many does he have but it was really cool to see him get his revenge there because i do recall that uh s shark I, I think what was it a kick or a punch or he choked you know sanji in uh, a couple of episodes ago i don't remember which episode specifically but it, you know i do recall he got his ass kicked by s shark so it's really cool to see him get his revenge there uh so yeah man solid episode can't wait to see how the next one goes uh if you did enjoy my reaction to this one though I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Also, give it a thumbs up for the hype of One Piece things. Just keep on getting interesting. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. You can also feel free to follow me on all my social media, Twitter and Instagram. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video. You can also feel free to join our Discord. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well. 
You can also feel free to become a Patreon or a channel member by clicking a link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy. And you always get a shout out in every single one of my videos. But until then, guys, please do me a favor. Take care of each other. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time.